Me Createful channel. My name is Divya and in today's video I would like to show you how you can upcycle your old bed sheets into a lovely shirt dress. This DIY is actually extremely beginner friendly as you don't really have to draft any patterns. However, the outcome does not look like a beginner project at all. I'm extremely excited to share this project with you so let's get right into it. First of all, you need to take your bust measurements as well as your waist and hip measurements. You also need to decide how long you want your dress to be. These are the bedding pieces that I will be using for this DIY. They actually are pillowcases and I will be using two of them. To cut the main pieces for this dress, it's best to fold the pillowcase in half. I am then marking the length of my dress onto the fabric with 2cm seam allowance on each end. Next, I split the length of my dress into three equal sections and mark them on my fabric. I take my bust, waist and hip measurements and multiply them by 1.5. As I will be cutting on the fold, I'm then dividing them by 2. I then mark my multiplied hip measurement onto the fabric from my bottom marking. Going up one third of the dress length, I'm again marking my hip measurement. I am then going up to the next marking and mark my waist measurement. And lastly, I mark my bust measurement from the top marking. Next, I connect all my markings, making sure to create slight curves to accommodate for the differences in width. I then cut my pieces out. As you can see here, I now have two pieces that are larger than my usual size. Now that I have my main two pieces, I need to create a little space at the top of the dress for the sleeves. I mark 8cm from the side into the width of the dress and 4cm down lengthwise. I connect those two markings to cut out a triangle shape. This is creating a notch where I can connect my sleeves to the dress. I do this on both sides with both pieces and then have those two patterns. Next I hem the top and bottom of my main dress pieces with a rolled hem. I always make sure to pin it before sewing for a nice and tidy double fold. And now the shirring begins. I want to shirr the whole dress and therefore have to shirr both pieces entirely. To shirr the fabric you need elastic thread like this one. This elastic thread has to be wound onto the bobbin by hand without stretching it. This is absolutely crucial as otherwise it won't elasticate the fabric. I'm also loosening my bobbin casing to make sure the elastic isn't really tight when sewing it onto the fabric. I change the settings on my sewing machine to the largest stitch setting with a straight stitch and less tension. When sharing the fabric, the right side of the fabric has to be facing up. It is also crucial to always backstitch at the start and end of every row. As you can see here, the fabric crunches up nicely and becomes stretchy and ruffled. It is important to stretch the already shirt fabric when sewing the other rows as the fabric shrinks too much otherwise. Now it's just a case of shirring both dress pieces until they are completely shirred. This does take a long time, but it isn't hard to do. I would also recommend to switch up the sides that you are sharing as that way it is easier to keep the rows straight. Once the sharing is done, the pieces look like this. Those looser stitches here are due to too much tension on my bobbin casing so do make sure to loosen that up although this won't be noticeable when wearing the dress. Next I'm sewing both pieces together with the right sides facing. I'm using a zigzag stitch for ultimate stretch. And the dress then looks like this. 
Here you can see the notches that we cut for the sleeves. Next, I'm trimming the seam allowance and finishing the seams off with another zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. For the sleeves, I'm measuring my shoulder from front to back as well as the length of my arm, including my shoulder. I then take the other pillowcase and mark the length of my arm with 2cm seam allowance on each end onto it. From my top marking, I'm now vertically marking my shoulder measurement that I multiplied by 1.5. I repeat the same at the bottom and create a rectangle. I then cut my two pieces out. Next, I create the same notches on the top of my sleeves like I did on the dress, 8 cm wide and 4 cm long. I cut these out and ended up with these two pattern pieces. Next, I hemmed the bottom and top of my sleeves with a rolled hem. I then sew two rows of shirring along the top and bottom of my sleeves, just along the hem, which then ended up looking like this. I then fold my sleeves in half and close them with a zigzag stitch right sides together. I then turn my sleeves right sides out. Lastly, I attach my sleeves to the dress by matching up both notches and sew along the edges with a zigzag stitch. I do this with both sleeves and finished is my new shirt dress made from two pillowcases. And here is the final outcome. I am honestly so so happy with the result. It really was not hard to do but it just doesn't look like an obvious DIY which I absolutely love. The dress is also super versatile as you can fold it up to wear as a top as well as wearing the sleeves off the shoulder like so. Should you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and otherwise thank you so much for watching.